Hey, yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy X and I'm coming at you guys with a full breakdown of the cash nasty video that he showed us today. So well, yesterday kind of um, he dropped it pretty late at night so you can see he did put the video out if you guys want to see it um, it's right here go on his channel um, I went through and actually took screenshots of basically everything just so I didn't have to watch his video through and really get copyrighted for it so um, we're right here so first I'm just gonna go through the collector levels you can see 30 cards we get the auction house which means it's so much easier to actually get the auction house um, these other ones are just like you know making your team between that and just some simple like three token kind of stuff um, so the first card that we get is actually at 100 cards where we get Cedric Sabalos. Um, then we get Daryl Dawkins, which is kind of cool. We also can get Walter Davies, Jason Kidd, Isaiah Thomas. And now this Isaiah Thomas is actually an Evo card, which I think becomes a Galaxy Opal because with his first star, he becomes a diamond, the second a pink diamond, and the last a Galaxy Opal, which is really cool. Um, it's probably going to take a while to get him to a Galaxy Opal, but he could be um, one of people's first Galaxy Opals if they you know don't get some other ones um next we have eddie jones right after isaiah thomas at a thousand cards which is a good bit but that's kind of around where 8k47 was so gonna be a pretty common card but he's gonna be amazing um everybody that used uh eddie jones in the last 2k you guys know <laughs> um next we have um pink dot well antoine jameson who actually is another evo card you can see the star right there which means he will become a pink dime which is really cool probably a 97 overall maybe um, which is awesome if he has the same release he's gonna be a really really good card because he, he can play the power forward and small forward cash did say that there actually is um kind of position locks you can't really run people out of position these are their positions that's what they can run and that's it which is actually really cool uh, for some of them i think you might be able to set a secondary position i think that's what um he said in there and that there are no actual badges being added so let me know what you guys think about those two things down below obviously as well as all the rest of it um, we have Pink Diamond Jalen Rose here, which is really cool. I think probably the highest rated Jalen Rose card we've ever gotten in 2K history. Uh, Pink Diamond Scotty Pippen at MVP, uh, 2,300 cards, and he has an Evo, which means he will become a Galaxy Opal, which is awesome. A Galaxy Opal Pippen is going to be insane. Um, I think this is probably the first thing that was supposed to pop up. Um, but it's the domination rewards. You can see right here. We have Sam Jones Dale Ellis and Sean Kemp um, But that was probably supposed to be something I showed first, but it got mixed up uh, Next we have Arvidas Sabonis here. You can see at 2650 cards. So right after the Scotty Pippen um, There's like I think that final MVP is 750 tokens. So it's nothing like too crazy, but it, it's still, you know, pretty good. Um, our video bonus, you guys know, is a beast. He's 7'3", and he's actually a center and power forward. And he'll be able to do everything. So you will have a 7'3", center or power forward if you really want it. Um, the second to last card is Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. I think it was J.R. Smith in 2K19. And this year we have Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. Going to be an insane card. I'm so excited to use him. And the last um, collector level card is Anthony Davis Galaxy Opal, who's a power forward and center. So if you go through and run this all, you can actually have Galaxy Opal RV to Sabonis at center and Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis at the power forward, which is just mind-blowing to think about. That's going to be such an overpowered um, trio. Whenever the full game comes out, I will make a video um, going through all the collector level cards um, stats and telling you guys how they're going you know to fare up basically so stay tuned for that next we have all of the token rewards because that's obviously what he showed um we'll just go through here quick ryan anderson sean bradley jared bayless marcus cousins jamal crawford daryl dawkins that demarcus cousins actually is the same as his emerald um in 2k19 his throwback card that's a little a little lazy on 2k's part but you can see we have a lot of actually really nice cards you can see we have seven four boban we have darius miles um and Jamaria Moon actually was really good in 2K19. Victor Oladipo should be nice. Um, maybe Paul Pierce. Joe Chi, that's going to be my first one that I'm picking up. Probably Joe Chi is going to be a beast. Um, Theo Ratliff might be pretty good. Jason Richardson is going to be nice. Isaiah Ryder, Brian Scalabrini. We have Bob Sura. Um, Joe Smith might be okay. Damon Sotomayor, Bob Sura. Um, I think DVG said he might be insane. Um, here we have the Sapphire rewards. I know I'm going through them quick, but... You know, if you guys want more in-depth videos on which ones will be the best, obviously I'm going to have that once the full game comes out. And I can't really tell you guys what are the best ones right now because you know, we don't know any of the stats. Um, but one that I can tell you is probably really nice to get is Michael Carter Williams. He's a 6'6 point guard um, who they should let do a little bit of everything, so that's nice. Um, Jeff Foster, Larry Hughes, Iggy's gonna be nice. Christian Leitner, Tony Kukoc is always good. Ray Flavence is a nice shooting center that you can get always at the beginning of the game. Let's see, a lot of centers. 
we have George Merson again, which is crazy. <laughs> Ricky Pierce, John Starks is going to be amazing. Um, and now we are in it to the Ruby Sapphire. Honestly, a little underwhelming. These ones in the beginning were kind of nice, but at, towards the end, it kind of just trails off. I mean, Paul Silas, um, Scott Skiles, that just, nah, not really good to me. Um, Ruby Rewards, we have Sharif Abdul Rahim, who's actually really nice. Barbosa should be good, but he has such a bad release every year. Same with Tom Chambers that it might knock him. Um, Rex Chapman's going to be one that everybody picks up. He's going to be such a nice card. Always has a good release and always can dunk on everybody. Um, nice non-shooting big men in Roy Hibbert and Horace Grant. Um, Jeremy Lin should be pretty nice if he's got a better release. Corey McGetty is usually that Swiss Army Knife player that can kind of do everything with a nice release and shoot well. Sean Marion is the definition of a Swiss Army Knife player, can definitely do everything. And we have a bunch of other cards. There's Quentin Richardson, um, Ray Allen, Antoine Walker. Overall, the Ruby tier is definitely really nice. Um, I'm super excited about this. And obviously, I know it says that people have redeemed these, but um, this is just the dev version. Once the full game comes out, it's going to be all reset, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, Amethyst Rewards, Thurl Bailey is back, he's an Amethyst, it's going to be so nice to use that card. Um, everybody basically knew that that Thurl Bailey, Thurl Bailey Ruby was insane, I can't wait to use him. Um, Shane Battier should be good, Otis, Birdsong, I don't know who he is at all, um, but maybe he'll be nice. Um, Karan Butler, Derek Coleman, and Rudy Gay, all pretty nice cards. Richie Guerin, um, Tom Googs, and Alan Houston should be nice, Richard Jefferson, Magic at Center is going to be an interesting one to have. Kevin Johnson, DeAndre Jordan, Norm Nixon, I think should be nice. Robert Parrish, Michael Redd, Dennis Rodman, Bill Russell, Reggie Theus, and Brian Winters. All of these cards actually seem really quality. The Amethyst seems really strong. It was honestly kind of weak um, until the end of 2K19, so I like that they kind of buffed it a little bit. Um, but there are a few cards that obviously I don't know, but I do like that they're trying to add um, some newer people to it. Um, Diamond Rewards, you can see we have Bob Cousy, Pau Gasol at center, not Pau Thor. That's going to be fun. Artis Gilmore, Richard Hamilton, Tim Hardaway, um, and Gordon Hayward. Um, Tim Hardaway will be nice if you can use smaller guards. Hopefully you can. Um, Richard Hamilton and Gordon Hayward, actually low-key, going to be real good guards. Gordon Hayward's always nice in 2K. Lou Hudson's okay. They made him a shooting guard this time, uh, which is better because he's like 6'5". A 6'5", small forward just doesn't work. Um, Larry Johnson. Um, can shoot, drive to the basket, always good. Bobby Jones, not really a shooter, but a great defensive card for those who want it. Bob Lanier, Jerry Lucas, um, Jamal Mashburn, George McGinnis, Sidney Moncrief, Calvin Murphy, Drazen Petrovic, Glenn Rice, Kiki Vanderway, Sleepy Floyd, and Ben Wallace. Um, honestly, Dumb Rewards is okay. I think these last um, two screenshots here that show um, these guys, these are probably going to be some of the better ones, in my opinion. Um, I just think Petrovic, Glenn Rice, and Kiki are going to be amazing. Sleepy Floyd is always pretty good. Um, Definitely Moncrief and Lucas. Diamond Rewards, a little underwhelming. Not as good as 2K19, I don't think. But obviously, I don't know stats, so I can't say anything. But still, um, definitely not too bad. Now we are on to the pink Diamond Rewards, which look really nice. Elgin Baylor, Dave Cowens, Adrian Dantley, Alex English, Patrick Ewing, Spencer Haywood, George Gervin, Alvin Hayes, Bob Love, Chris Mullen, Mark Price, Mitch Richmond, who I'm so excited about. Mitch or Chris Mullen are probably going to be one of my first ones that I pick up, not going to lie. Um, and that finishes those guys off. Gervin's going to be really nice. Overall, I think the Pink Diamond Awards are seriously some nice ones. A lot of small forwards. Um, I don't think there's one point guard in Mark Price and he's kind of oh no there's three point guards okay so overall they actually cover a lot of positions but I think that the small forwards in here are really strong um, Bob Love should be nice at a power forward he was nice last year so overall I'm kind of liking the pink diamond um, and last but not least we have Galaxy Opals where we have Penny Hardaway Grant Hill and David Robinson honestly I think that the best one is probably going to be David Robinson um, just because he should be able to shoot an insane release and do everything else um, that's just my opinion. I think that David Robinson is going to be the better one. Um, overall, um, from what Cash was allowed to show us, I think he's another video coming out soon um, that is really nice. He went through all of these so he could see everything. Um, overall, I think it's a really good like set of cards and things that he was able to show us. Um, I really like it. I think that 2K's got some potential. Um, obviously, I think that this year actually could be the best for 2K19, my team. Uh, obviously, you guys might have some varying opinions, but I that's what I personally think. Um, like the video if you guys did enjoy, comment down below if you guys are excited about 2K20 coming out. We have eight days at the time of recording this, 
and oh, I can't wait, man. Subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 1.4K. Thank you guys so much for hitting 1.3. Uh, yeah, let's run it up. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see y'all in the next video.